This is 753, and we're looking to find the current through the inductor here, the current through the inductor, and for A and B. So let's get rid of B here quick, and let's start going on pro, uh, circuit A. And let's take a look first at T is less than zero. T is less than zero. The circuit that we get looks something like this. This is open. That's open, so we don't have any current flowing through there. And so we have 2 ohms and 3 ohms and 25 volts. Now this current I, let's call this I not at I not here. At time equals 0, this is going to be acting like a short circuit. This will be acting like a short circuit. So this will be here like this, short circuit. So I naught, or we can even call this, oh. this term here we can call I at time zero is going to be equal to our 25 volts divided by our equivalent resistance, which is five ohms, which comes out to be five amps. So we're gonna use this equation where I of T is equal to I at time infinity. That means way into the future of time plus our uh, I at time zero minus I of time infinity e to the negative t over our time constant tau. Okay, so let's take a look here. Now if we go on and look at t is greater than zero, this becomes shut here. So all current is going here. No current goes this way. So we have this circuit where we have 25 volts and 3 ohms. Something like this. And here we have our 2 ohms and our I at time infinity. Now all of our current is going through here. This current is equal to zero. So all the current is going this way. So we have this. Now if we combine all of these together, we combine here and here. We, so we need to use this equation. And our uh, time constant, remember, is equal to L over R. So we need to find L over R. And so if we find our equivalent, our Thevenin resistance, let's do that. So we short, we're shorting this, we have And this will be our, our Thevenin, and this is 2 ohms. So our equivalent resistance here is just 2 ohms, 2 ohms, because we don't need to worry about this one. So our time constant is L over R, and so L is 4, 4 divided by 2, which comes out to be two seconds. So I of T is equal to I infinity, which is zero, plus I at time zero, which is five amps, minus zero, 
e to the negative t divided by uh, two seconds. Two seconds. So this is i of t equals five e to the negative t divided by two amps. And that is our answer for t is greater than zero. So let's move on to part B. Part B, we have our six amps here. And let's start by looking at T is less than zero. And we're looking for this current through the inductor. Well, if we look at T less than zero, this is going to be closed. So we have our current source. We have one resistor here, one resistor here. And then our inductor is going to be acting like a short circuit. This is going to be shorted and we'll have I at time zero here. And this is six amps and this is four ohms and two ohms. So if we take a look at the current, the current here is going to be zero and the current here is going to be zero. All of the current is gonna go through here, the inductor, because this is a short circuit. So that is going to be six amps. Now let's take a look at time is greater than zero. And this is now gonna be opened here. This is opened. So we have this circuit where we have six amps and then we have a resistor and this is going to be four ohms and we have our other resistor here and inductor and three Henry. Okay, so let's take a look at finding the Thevenin resistance. So to find the Thevenin resistance, we would then um, turn off the current source, which then becomes an open circuit. And then we are looking for the Thevenin resistance through the inductor here, A, B. We're looking for that Thevenin resistance. And between A and B, it's just gonna be that two ohms. So our time constant is L over R, and that is equal to our three Henry, three Henry divided by our resistance, which is two, which is then three over two seconds. So we have our time constant. Now let's take a look at the circuit again, we have six amps and and if we take a look at this current at time infinity and we have two ohms here and four ohms here the current that goes through here is zero, right? No, no current is flowing through here. So we're gonna use our equation I of T is equal to I infinity plus our I of time zero minus I infinity e to the negative T over our time constant. So this is zero, this turns out to be zero. So we just have I of T is equal to six, this is six, E to the negative tau is, th so that's two T divided by three amps. And that is the answer for part B of this problem.